What's happening, boys and girls, ladies and gents? Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. My name is Tommy McGrath, aka McGrath Fishing. If you guys are new here, if you guys would hit the subscribe button right down here, and also, first ever merch drop coming March 15th. Save the date, it's my birthday, and like I said, I think we got some pretty badass designs, so be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be on followtheaction.com under the McGrath Fishing tab. So my mom came home and told me that we have this wild-caught sockeye salmon that I really wanna cook, and I figured I'd film it just because I kinda wanna start incorporating the everyday, like I kinda been talking about on previous videos, and just kinda show you guys like when I'm not fishing, not editing type thing. And I think it's like two degrees today. So I really don't want to go out and ice fish. I don't really want to film like the bluegills right now. We leave for Florida in like 23 days. I want to just kind of switch it up and kind of film different type videos, you know, get out of my element a little bit. So we're going to fill this video. I'm going to give you guys my tips, my advice on how to cook the best fish in my opinion. So hopefully it turns out well, and maybe you guys can learn something from it. And if you try the recipe, let me know. All right, well, enough talking. Let's dive right in to today's video. Let's begin, we got the sockeye salmon. We're gonna start by smashing this garlic, skin comes right off. Then what we're gonna do, make these as small as possible. We're gonna be generous with the garlic and use all of this. Chop these up nicely. All right, we're gonna start getting our butter melted. About a half stick of butter, we're gonna be super generous with that. And we're gonna take just a little bit of this olive oil. Just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take the sockeye right here and I'm gonna season it with this. This is the Hardcore Carnivore Black Steak and Meat Seasoning Rub. This is the Hardcore Carnivore, the Amplify one. Just a flavor booster. All right, so just two seasonings, because this seasoning also has sea salt, garlic, sugar, black pepper, chili powder, onion, and activated charcoal. One thing I was gonna do is add just a little bit of onions and give it like that taste, so the onions and the butter can just kind of make love in the pan. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do is take this. Now this is just a Tony's Creole seasoning, Cajun. And I'm gonna just put a light little layer in the pan, that's it. So we're gonna take our onions, or our onions, we're gonna take our garlic, toss those in the pan. This already smells so good. I seriously love cooking anything. This would be a lot better if this was like, you're sitting out in the woods, a remote area, but this is gonna be just as good. At least it'll taste just as good. So I got my heat on medium. I'm just gonna wait till all this butter kind of gets melted down. We got the head mount on today to give you guys like the bird's eye view of kind of everything I'm doing. I thought this would be a lot easier than me like walking around like doing this with the camera. So we got this one, this one, and then we actually have one set up right there. All right, so butter is hot, the garlic's in there, everything's kind of sizzling, the olive oil, everything's just kind of meeting each other. So then I'm gonna take this fish um, we still got the skin. I don't want to flip it to lose all the seasoning, but we still got the skin on there. So I'm just going to lay this down just like this. This is, a, this is an absolute pro tip right here. Grab some of your butter, that garlic goodness. Sprinkle it on the fish. Even though I am going to flip it, I just kind of start seeping in right away. This is a pretty simple recipe. I literally use the hardcore carnivore black the Hardcore Carnivore Amplify, and I put just a little bit of Cajun in the pan, butter, garlic, pretty much it. So hopefully this turns out as good as I think it's gonna do, but right now, the butter, the garlic, the fish, all of it just kind of sizzling together, sounds so good. Primo, absolute wonderfulness. I mean, I even ate all day too, so I figured, I was honestly even gonna film this video, I was literally just gonna cook this and kind of be done with it, but I thought, why not? It's a really good recipe. I like sharing some, oh! Instant replay on that one. I like sharing my recipes with you guys because I think it's really good. So if you guys do decide to do this, let me know. Just don't get burned like that. That's hurt. Okay, 
Okay, so one last thing I am gonna add just to give it a little bit is a little bit of black pepper. This is simply organic black pepper. I'm just gonna little bit, like I said, just give it a little bit extra. I know the hardcore carnivore black has it, but I just wanted to add a little bit extra for myself. So the white is start to forming up a little bit. We're probably gonna give this a few more minutes on this side because I did turn the heat down and then we're gonna flip it. But you'll see when you kind of know your salmon's done, the skin and the, the skin on the bottom side will literally just peel almost right off. You'll see in like, if the skin were to stay on there, like if I were to keep it on there on purpose, you can literally just pick the meat like right off the skin, it should fall off. That's how kind of how you know it's done, but we'll go more into that. We got the GoPros in 4K today. We got this one, this one, 4K. So you can really see the sizzle in high definition. So we're gonna go for the flip here. That is exactly how you want the back of the fish to look like. Little, like a dark brown crusted skin right there. That is perfect. And now, now that I flipped it, everything will kind of cook through back up towards the top side. I'm gonna leave a link to those seasonings also in the description below if you guys do wanna try one of those out. They have other flavors as well, like kind of different ones. Uh, one for straight chicken, they, I mean they have a ton. They have a camo one that's pretty cool, so hardcore carnivore. Right here, these are the gold, all you need. All right guys, so I think we're done. I'm just gonna put this on a plate just like that. The finished product, the sockeye salmon, a little bit of broccoli, I mean, we're gonna taste test now. All right, so I came down here, my dogs are freaking out upstairs, and you guys won't be able to hear me, but let's get a little bit of broccoli in there. eating on this stupid TV tray, but hey, it works. Like I said, usually I do this up in my kitchen. Oh man. Oh my God. It's like the garlic, the butter, the seasoning, just like, it's all just like creating wonders right now in my mouth. Let's go for a big piece. Unbelievable. Just like pops right off the skin too. Give you guys a close up of what it looks like in the inside. Nice pink in there. Then you got your greens. I really wanna start doing this like out in the ice like kind of right where you catch stuff like that. And again, it's just harder to do stuff like that or trout. I mean, Illinois is a terrible, uh, terrible state for trout in my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but I just don't like doing it. Obviously this is sockeye salmon, but I don't know, there's like obviously a lot of species that we can literally just cook right away, like kind of go to shore and do like that type of stuff. So I really want to start doing like the remote, like catching cooks, like out in the pretty much the wilderness. It's kind of be like, pretty much just like be one with nature. Kenzie's back here watching. You can, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, maybe I can probably zoom in. Look, if I go for this piece right here, it just comes right off the skin. Flakes apart, it just comes right off. I really like how like, the texture of this isn't like really chewy fish or like super slimy. I mean, sometimes you kind of get like that slimy taste even like in a cooked fish. And this doesn't really have any of it. This is, this is very, very good salmon. This is so good. <laughs> I probably should have done this in the kitchen. I really don't like the backdrop of this. I got dogs right here, but you know, it works. Eating fish doesn't always need to be like bougie. That was a big bite. I definitely taste that black pepper in there. The garlic though, and the seasoning just like kind of mixing in my mouth right now. And the overall just like fish. So good. We're gonna go broccoli and the fish right here.
Okay, so this is all I got left right here. Watch, I'm literally just gonna pull this right off the skin. Comes right off. This is literally all I got left. Just the skin right there. Some people do eat the skin too. I've just never really been a fan. Let me know. Do you guys eat the skin? Should I start doing that more? I could eat probably four of those right now. That's it. Everything is off my plate. Probably should have made on this, honestly, because now I'm gonna have to clean this off. I have like an editing station over there. Or maybe I should have done it in the podcast chairs. Probably would have been a lot better. But whenever I wanna like sit in the couch to edit, I'll just use something like this. If I need to get off like the hard chairs or don't wanna sit in the podcast, I'll just come to the couch. Sometimes kind of switch up the scenery for editing. But this was really good. I honestly, like each flavor really stuck out in that fish too. I mean, you can taste the butter, the garlic. You can taste both seasonings, just like all the flavors and just like the fish taste and like everything was just like rumbling in my mouth. It was so good. I'm definitely gonna do this again. I really hope you guys enjoyed like little cooking videos like this because I really, really enjoy making them. I think it's cool and maybe if you're trying to learn how to cook or maybe you know how to cook and cook for years and like maybe there's little things you see I'm doing that you wanna try next to just, again, I kinda hope I'm just helping like, just like the everyday person who wants to cook and cooking fish. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. It was really good. This was solid. What do you think, Kenzie? Think a... They're sleeping now, but... Photo. <laughs> Instead of using, like, the the garlic and the minced garlic and, the like, the shakers you can buy, doing, like, actually, like, the cloves of garlic, huge up. Like I said, I mean, you literally tasted everything. I mean, the garlic and the butter were one of the biggest things I tasted, and then I also tasted the hardcore carnivore black seasoning. I mean... Just like, and those mixing together, like I'm gonna say this 12 times, but like those mixing together with the fish inside your mouth is like heaven, like a orgasmic heaven. It was so good, but <sighs> that's gonna do it though. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys wanna see me cook something, drop it below, go out with a popular guide, go to a state, target uh, certain species. Let me know in the comments. I listen to all your guys' comments. I never miss comments on my channel. I literally take all your guys' advice, opinions, whatever you guys want me to do, I will try and do it. So leave a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. We are out. It was so good.